the media experience is something that is coming through via the manifest format, manifest and playlist formats. And that's where Dash and HLS interoperability actually becomes a very significant um, uh, topic. Um, the manifest and playlists are the things that define the media experience. And so you need to be able to represent those CMAP assets equally in both forms, uh, that in any form that you're using, really. Um, even if you're, uh, it's, it's possible to go with a single format deployment and there are a lot of uh, optimizations and uh, desire to get to a single format for the manifest as well. Um, but until we get there, being able to ensure that we have all the same media experiences across the board in both formats is a very big win. And so we have worked a long time within the Hulu product to try and define interoperability between Dash and HLS. And there's actually a group that started up under CTA Wave to help define this, right? And there's two points to uh, Dash and HLS interoperability. The first is the constraints that actually manifest formats have on the CMAF uh, uh, files themselves. The inherent nature of how Dash and HLS were specified and came about first actually further constrains the CMAF uh, structures. Not, not terribly so, but it takes away a couple of optional points. And a lot of those things were not well known, right? If you had been doing it for a long time uh, or your, your company had a history in deploying video, you understood how to, how to deal with this uh, and had it kind of well-tuned, but anyone coming new to the party was trying to figure it out. And we wanted to make sure that we could capture this as part of this group, uh, this CTA wave group. And the other thing is uh, cross conversion between the two formats. When we are, when you're representing a experience in one format, it should be easy to represent it in another. Uh, that way you're able to maximize the delivery uh, of that experience across number, numerous devices to users. And so this is where the CTA 505, 5005-HLS interoperability specification came from. And it's not focused on just constraints. It's focused on powering real life use cases. So things like basic on-demand streaming and, live, and basic live streaming, right? Those seem very simple, but there's actually very fundamental constraints that you need to place on the media in order to go, in, in order to bring the content to, to bulk. But of course, that's not the only thing people do, right? We want to, we want to achieve new things like low latency live streaming, encrypted media, uh, presentations, and then bringing things like presentation splicing in to have bumpers and ads. Uh, this, these are all very key and enablement cases that we wanted to ensure were captured and well defined. And so we built a specification around this uh, in the in the wave group. And I'm at, I'm excited to say that it was actually published uh, this morning, uh, and it's available at cta.tech/standards. Uh, it's completely free. Uh, you do have to go through a, a little store uh, um, front, but it is completely free. Um, so I, I really invite everyone to check it out and um, learn a bit more about the what you need to do to bring the same assets into both uh, manifest forms.